obviously I'm not where I was in the stage of life like in my early 20s and, yeah. and like in terms of like emotional maturity in terms of even financially uh, I've been able to live I've, I've, I'm grateful that I've yeah. lived but even at 30 I still feel so like young like I'm barely starting to live like I'm yeah. just starting life and there's so much ahead of me that I want to conquer and nobody has get tomorrow guaranteed right life is mm -hmm. short so you might as well do whatever the hell you want I think so and and you know set those goals and and crush them and I think that's important um because sometimes we're like yeah like uh, I'll, I'll start living when I have that partner no. or when I get married and like those are good things to want right yeah. but you're not gonna wait to live life until you have that hell mm -hmm. no no and like we talked about you have to learn to be so happy and at peace and do things for yourself yeah before you can bring someone into the equation of course and that's the problem a lot of people wait yeah to bring someone into the equation and it's like have you embraced it like I've gone for runs and watched the sunset on a beach by myself yeah I've taken trips by myself I'm always at an airport meeting someone, you know, and yeah. I, I, I love that. I, I, I love those little moments in life. And that's when I'm reminded, like, oh, my God, for sure. I think making yourself a priority is so important, whether you have somebody or not. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, if you're with somebody like you still have to make yourself a priority, take care of yourself so that you can take care of the person that you're with. Right. So yeah. that you can enjoy being with them. But even if you're not like still make yourself a priority yeah. or like the what's the, the the did you ever watch Parks and Rec? <laughs> when Tom, Tom and uh, oh, what was her name? Uh, Tom and the other lady. Uh, they would say, "Treat yourself." Oh, treat yourself, Donna. Yeah, treat Donna. Donna. Treat yourself. Yes, day. it was Tom and Donna. Tr treat yourself. Yeah, it, it's like yeah. The beauty of you being single is you you can treat yourself, and you don't really have to worry about anybody like telling you anything. Yeah, you know you don't. Um, and and of course you can still treat yourself when you're in a relationship right you yeah. should still do that but, absolutely but when you're in a relationship like you can enjoy things, things together shift. yeah you which is also yeah. nice sharing something is like yeah like let's eat some sour patch they do say that watch the, movies. The, the, <laughs> the, the best things in life like they should be enjoyed like shared with somebody. i think so i think so yeah. and again like, it comes down to to being at peace and being okay being alone but being okay with that it's almost prepares you already to bring someone in because yeah. i love I, I love sharing things with people I love, you know, like, I'm like, let's go eat. Let's yeah. go do something. And it's not because I'm alone. It's because it's nice to, yeah. to or, or even, share that. Even like, let's go on a walk and like, you know, just kind of, you don't even have to spend money, you know? Like, no. let's go on a walk. Let's go hang out at the park. Let's, you know, let's just chill. I'm a walk girl. Let's be at home and, and, and watch movies together. And, yeah. You know, those are the things that, that, you know, when you share them with somebody, like you enjoy them so much more, yeah. obviously, right? 